Alright folks, uh, today I'm going to do a review of the uh, Tidal Force M750 electric bike. Um, let me show you. <coughs> Tidal, board, Tidal Force M750. Uh, I believe the reason why they name it 750 is because the motor, this motor here, it's 750 watts but uh, I think they make some of these <coughs> some of these they put a thousand watt motor in it and uh, I'm not sure if I get I'm not sure if this bike this motor is a uh, thousand watt or 750 watt but judging by the size By the size it's almost as big as the wheel I think it is a thousand watt motor it is a brushless motor um, so it's a very powerful motor all right let me walk you through uh, the bike here uh, on the front we have the uh, the battery the battery is the uh, older uh, nickel metal hydride battery and inside the hub here uh, it's got quite a few of the uh, I believe is the uh, D size the D size uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries and uh, they just put all the batteries together in series and uh, this is the charging port on the top here we have the uh, cat eye uh, bike odometer uh, here I have 32 miles uh, so I've just changed the battery for probably a couple of days, for a few days. Uh, so every time I change the battery, it resets all the data in this computer. And uh, this one, this doesn't, this uh, the uh, bike headlight, and uh, it didn't come with the bike. You can tell it's. <laughs> It is a homemade uh, light and it's got 10 watt LED and the battery is inside it. If uh, you want to know how I made this, uh, just uh, wrote, write on the comments and I'll show you how I made this. Pretty simple. Um, this here is the uh, Tidal Force computer. Uh, control and when you it's got a key and then you turn it on you got selection of choosing either battery A or battery B okay. battery A is the front battery and it gives you an option to add in an auxiliary battery and uh, you can use it on the B option uh, however, I've tried to uh, put in another battery bank, and there are instructions online how to do it. Uh, I open this up, and then there's a pin. They have to short out the pin in order to use uh, the B battery, but somehow I was not successful in doing so. Uh, if you guys, uh, if any of you know how to do it, uh, please let me know. Okay. Just write on the comments, and um, well, it doesn't come with a bell either, so I added a bell. And here we have a, a throttle. Uh, this throttle is incremental throttle. Some of the throttle uh, I've seen on the electric bike, it's just on and off. But this one is incremental, so you can increase the speed according to 
uh, how much you press on this thumb throttle which is pretty neat and uh, let's go back to here this controller it's got a cruise option so it's pretty nice uh, this is uh, I think one of the most useful uh, option because uh, it let you off the thumb throttle so you don't get tired just keep pushing on this so when you get to a desired speed uh, just press this button and the light here will light up and will maintain constant speed and it's pretty accurate whatever speed that you put on cruise it will keep at that speed and if it goes uphill uh, of course the bike will uh, uh, reduce the speed when it goes uphill right? but then after uh, it passes the hill we go back we accelerate and go back to uh, uh, its uh, cruising speed or if it goes downhill this regen here, this is a regenerative braking. Uh, this light here will light up when it goes downhill. And if you're on a cruise, say 15 miles per hour, if you go downhill more than 15 miles per hour, this light here will light up, and you will feel that the uh, the regenerative braking is working because it's trying to slow down the bike by um, recharging the battery using the motor back here so that's how it works so regenerate braking when you press on the brake okay it will light up here and it will recharge the battery and you can feel the uh, the, the 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 slowing down it's uh, pretty pretty um uh, obvious and up here we have the turbo mode and um, I'm not sure about this one but I think the turbo mode is uh, will let you drive the bike um, at, its, uh, at the, uh, the motor's full potential this is a 48 volt motor and when you're on turbo mode I believe it will let you run the motor at 48 volt while if you're in normal mode right, just like turn on let me show you so this um, so it's got a gauge here for gauging the battery life okay so if you're on normal mode meaning there's no light here then um, <clears throat> it is pretty, to my opinion, it's pretty weak. Um, so if you're on turbo mode, so you press this button, that light will lit up. Uh, you can feel the difference. I mean, I always ride in turbo mode because it's feel normal. If I ride at normal mode, it, this light is off. The, the, the bike is pretty weak and it, it looks like it's running at half the power I think it runs at 24 volts when you are on normal mode and when you press on this button it will let the motor run at 48 volts so at, uh, at the normal uh, mode it's made to cons uh, conserve power I think but on turbo mode it's, uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty powerful that's why I always run at turbo mode. Alright, so let's uh, move back here. Uh, on the back here we have a uh, bike rack. This doesn't come with a bike. Uh, I just uh, add in uh, myself. This is just a Swin bike rack. I bought from Walmart for $12. And I add in the, uh, the uh, wooden uh, piece on the top here. So that uh, it, uh, you know, this is bigger so I can put in bigger stuff to carry I made a video uh, for this rack if you want to see it uh, you can uh, uh, look at my other video 
and down here I got the uh, aluminum bar to support the rack. You see, not on this side. That's because um, I have to add that in <coughs> because this rack here I bought from Walmart and it's rated at 25 pounds, which is ridiculous. What can you carry for with wood 25 pounds? So I add in this bar to support the, the whole rack and uh, I can easily carry 150 pounds. Yeah, easily, uh, you know, another person can uh, sit on the back easily. Also have this, uh, what do you call it? Pannier? Pan pannier? Um, it's just a laptop back. It's got the velcro here, and then just hang it on here. That's it to carry my stuff. Uh, some classes, uh, bungee cords, and other stuff. Condom, just in case. You never know, right? Back here I have the uh, LED lights. I bought from a dollar store for 99 cents. Uh, it's pretty bad quality. Uh, I only used for a couple months and it's dead on me. So I remove the cover and add in the uh, my own LED lights. And let me show you on this side here. Um, so that's the battery. It's got three uh, 18650 batteries. It runs on 12 volts. And turn it on. There you go. Pretty bright at night. Alright, so moving on. Uh, this bike got 21 speed. So three speeds on the front here, and seven speeds uh, on the back. Uh, I believe it's built by Shimano. Also, one of the features I like about this bike is this. Uh, it allows me to fold the bike uh, down to half of its size and if you look here here's the hinge okay. so you will let the bike on the, the front part fold like so um, and this is just this is the lock so when you lift this up you lift this up and you turn it and release the, the nuts down here and then you pull this nut down and remove the uh, the hinge and will let the the bike to fold in half so you fold this part this front part you fold it fold it in half which is pretty neat uh, this one thing I <coughs> don't like about the bike is it's heavy uh, it's pretty heavy. Um, not sure how much it weighs, but probably about uh, I would say more than more than 50 pounds. Probably 75 pounds. It's quite heavy. Uh, but other than that, it's. Uh, it's a very well built bike and um, <coughs> I commute to I used to commute to work uh, 10 miles 10 to 15 miles a day and I've clocked probably close to a thousand miles on this bike uh, for the last few years and it's very reliable and uh, 
it's it's been this bike's been about 10 years so the battery is getting old and it doesn't last too long uh, only lasts about 12 12 to 15 miles right now and uh, I am just waiting for the this battery to die so I can, I can replace with a lithium-ion battery which is a lot stronger and uh, better but overall it's, uh, it's a very nice bike um, everywhere I go I got <laughs> a lot of attention uh, because I tell I uh, I prefer to bring the bike everywhere I go, like go shopping, go to Walmart or Lowe's, Home Depot. I just bring the bike to the store, bring the bike with me, I don't lock it outside. This is a very good target to be stolen. And I that's not what <laughs> that's why I don't want it. So I just bring the bike to the store, bring it to wherever I want to go shop at and I got a lot of attention uh, everywhere I go so uh, anyway uh, overall very good bike and um, right now I'm just waiting for this battery to die but it just doesn't die it lasts every I charge the battery every single day every ride when I go back I charge it and it lasts forever it doesn't want to die um, the range reduced from time to time it used to be about uh, close to 20 miles and then go down to 15 now 12 or 10 but the battery refused to die it's, uh, it's probably have about more than 500 cycle, probably 700 cycles, charging cycle, and uh, it just refuse to die. And again, inside there, inside this battery hub, just uh, these size nickel metal hydride batteries, uh, and they put them together in series. And uh, I guess uh, that's all I have, folks. Uh, just a short review. Not really short, but uh, reveal for the uh, Tidal Force AM750 electric bike. Alright, that's it. Uh, that's all I have, and uh, thank you for watching.